Did you know that 2019 was the 10th anniversary of Knowledge Originals? That's right. Knowledge Network's been producing our own original films and series by and for British Columbians for 10 years now. And it was all made possible with the generous support of our Knowledge Partners. In honor of this momentous occasion, we're now going to count down to 2020 by presenting 10 of our favorite moments from 10 years of Knowledge Originals. We've only got about 12 minutes to go, so let's get started right away with this favorite moment featuring a familiar face from the Knowledge series which examines the role of artists in society, a window looking in. To be able to play live and to sing and feel that sense of connectedness to other human beings is really powerful. I think if you want to be an artist, you have to really, really want it. It has to be because it feeds you. People don't connect as human beings that much anymore. And so I think the role of an artist in our society is incredibly important because we are communicators. We leave a positive mark on the, the, the consciousness of, of everybody who came. I mean, that's the greatest validation an artist can have. I touch someone's life that I don't even know. It's powerful. Our next favorite moment is a scene from the popular series which explores the infinite wonders of our universe, Space Suite. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives the aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. And here's a scene spotlighting the important work done by BC Emergency Health Services members from our highly rated series, Paramedics, Life on the Line. We are delivering some lungs right from the plane to the operating room at VGH, where someone is waiting. There's a provincial donor list. So this person could come from anywhere in the province and get their heart or lungs or eyes. Or I think the heart has four hours. They only last so long on ice. All three will go to VGH, right? Right up to the OR. Okay. Okay. Great kidney, double lungs, and a liver. This is going to be three different patients. So three people get to live today because one person died. Obviously, this is an easy call, but it's kind of one of the more satisfying ones because you're being part of the team that gives the people a whole new life. Now it's time for a little whimsy with your knowledge in this colorful moment from our series about notable BC artists, 12 Takes. I don't think my art is so much about traveling in terms of the real world, but traveling to those places that sit just outside our peripheral vision. There's no creativity without play, so I go into the studio and I play. When you work with lots of different materials, experimentation is the key. You can't know beforehand what it's going to look like. In fact, it's a huge advantage not to. Ideas and images are always floating through my head. It's really a matter of grabbing them, plucking them out of the air, making them make some kind of sense by joining them together. I quite like the idea that my dream characters are shared with other people, that there is a central arena where these characters move and live, and that I'm on the outside, just looking in. We speak of having dreams, but maybe it's dreams that have us. 
Next up, for a change of pace, is a peaceful scene from the award-winning and critically acclaimed documentary film about people who are drawn to the awe-inspiring BC mountains for their own unique reasons. This mountain life. I was born on the prairies, not in the mountains. I did have this interior secret spiritual quest that was awakened in the outdoors. It became my center of gravity. The mountains really have changed my prayer. In the Tantalus, you can see this changing of light and the changing of the snow. You never tire. Halfway there, and here's something for the whole family. A clip from our animated special starring the Knowledge Kids mascots, Luna, Chip, and Inky, in the Festival of Wishes. Ah! Bigfoot, run for your life! There is nothing to be afraid of. This is little Bigfoot. He rescued us when we really needed it. He's a hero. Hi. Everyone, this is my mom. Mama, I know they're different from us, but we can be friends. Oh, little Bigfoot, I just don't know. Oh, thank you all. See, Mama, wishes can come true. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, they can. <laughs> Our next favorite moment's a rather quirky one from the alternative Christmas music documentary, Jingle Bell Rocks. My brothers and I, we would stay out all night until two or three in the morning. And my mother would just leave the TV on all the time and we would come home. Sometimes she'd be in front of the TV and most of the time sleeping. But this one time, she talked about this movie. All is bright. This Christmas movie that we could never find. You couldn't tell where they were. They were on a ship, or they were in a ship at sea, or they were in outer space. But this group of guys somehow knew that, you know, whatever belly of the machine that they were in was somehow dying, and they were going to die with it. And they were visited by this entity. And the entity didn't save them, but it appeared that the way that this was going to happen was going to be all right. And as time passed, this movie always stayed with me. I remember my mother talking about it, and it was powerful. And at the time, I was thinking, we'll find out what this movie is. We'll watch it. It sounds amazing. But I could never find the movie. And in time, came to the conclusion that the movie didn't really exist. I mean, I think she fell asleep watching one movie. She woke up, saw a little bit of another movie, went back to sleep. And then that movie ended, and she probably watched another one. And in her mind, she put them all together. And for her, it was just one movie. And in my mind, I kept thinking, I have to make this movie. I just made Christmas on Mars, and it got that out of me, or satisfied it enough that I could finally move on with my life. Only a few more minutes until the new year, and next up is this thought-provoking scene from the award-winning documentary film, following internationally renowned Canadian spoken word poet Shane Coison. Shut up and say something. What's the point of love if you can't use it to forgive people that hurt you? if we can't use it to do something positive. Yes, love hurts us, absolutely. It destroys us from the inside out. And when you get hurt by love, you feel it in a very physical way. It will knock you on your ass. And then you have a choice of what you can do with that feeling, which is still love. Why can't you use it in a positive way? Why can't you use it to create something that can heal rather than something that can just wound the other person back? Maybe I caught something, what are you doing? <laughs> We're gonna have a nice fish dinner? <laughs> Almost there, and our second to last moment before the new year is this heartwarming clip from the celebrated series chronicling professionals and patients at Vancouver General Hospital. Emergency room, life and death at VGH. I think in some ways it's nice to work over the holidays because there is that camaraderie and that spirit of togetherness that just gets turned up a little bit among the staff. Generally speaking, all year round, I see people go out of their way to really try and make a positive impact or make people comfortable. And it's impressive people that their job description is not to interact with patients or families. I've seen them go out of their way to bring some more blankets or try and make someone comfortable. And it's not always perfect, but I think hopefully people kind of appreciate that and, and have some sense that we're really doing the best we can to, to do what we can. What amazes me the more and more I do this job is I realize that 
happiness is not necessarily a product of your circumstance. It's not what you have or what you don't have. It's often the lens in which you view life through. And there are some people who have tremendous hardship and tests during their life around their health and illness, but yet they're able to still retain that sense of joy and happiness. And last but not least, our final favorite moment from 10 years of Knowledge Originals is this uplifting scene from the crowd-pleasing documentary film that explores the famously breathtaking archipelago off BC's northeast coast, Haida Gwaii, on the edge of the world. You swore and said, we are not, we are not shining stars. This I know, I never said we are. Though I've never been through hell like that, I've closed enough windows to know you can never look back. If you're lost and alone, or you're sinking like a stone, carry on. May your paths be the sound of your feet upon the ground. Carry on. Carry on. So there you have it. We hope you enjoy 10 of our favorite moments from 10 years of Knowledge Originals. Now grab your champagne and join us and some characters from your favorite Knowledge programs as we count down the last moments of 2019 together. The most we can pay is 30, Bob. 29. 28 out of 30. 27. 26. 25. 24 hours. 23 years ago. 22 year old guy. 21 years ago. 20th century. In the 1990s. She's only 18. 17 year old. Uh, 16. 15 years. 14 days out. 13 towers. Can be in 12th. After 11. 10. 9. 8 minutes. Bed for 7 days. That was 6 months ago. 5. 4 years. The count of 3. Oh, 2. 1. 0. From all of us at Knowledge to all of you, Happy New Year!